Hey everybody, this is BT. I am really excited today to talk to you about a very special new reverb. This is a collaboration between myself and Unfiltered Audio for the Plugin Alliance family. This plugin is called Tails. As someone that absolutely loves reverb, mind you, kid of the 80s, grew up on records with huge reverb in it. Um, and I've been producing uh, and writing electronic music and scoring films for the better part of 25 years now. So from outside the box, vintage analog reverbs to in the box reverbs, I love them all. That being said, there are some really glaring deficiencies in reverbs for a modern workflow that Tails specifically addresses. And it's the reason why I wanted to make this plugin. So I'm gonna walk you through three things that Tails does that are incredibly specific and unique that no other reverb does. Okay, so first things first, this is Tails. And you can see this beautiful pneumorphic design. Um, really proud of how this user interface came out. Every single knob in this plugin is a macro of sorts, or at least for the most part. So there's very complicated allocation of parameters. The sweet spots mapped perfectly to these knobs, this sensitivity transient sensitivity algorithm on its own was months and months and months of solutioning to effectively track transients to make a clean reverb buffer. So what is that? What does it sound like? Okay, here we, we have uh, the reverb swap radio slider. Okay, so I'm going to turn that to off and we're going to listen to what a air quotes normal reverb sounds like with a super long reverb time when you're passing harmonic material through it. And we're getting all of this enharmonic rubs between sounds. In fact, if I restart the plugin, you'll hear how uh, sort of dissonant that is. See? We have this big cluster of long reverb over top of one another. Okay, so now when I hit this radio sl slider and I turn the reverb swap to on, this transient sensitivity knob is tracking our attack inputs and on every strike, it's gonna give me a clean reverb buffer that contiguously crossfades from the last reverb buffer, which by the way is very long, it's almost like an infinite reverb, into the next one. The caveat being, it's gonna be completely harmonic and tuned to what's underneath it. So what does that sound like? Sounds like this. So there's not a reverb in the world that can do that. This really is a first uh, of, of kinds. And uh, I've seen people trying to emulate this sort of technique by, in fact, myself have done this many times by printing individual chords uh, through reverbs and leaving lots of space and then crossfading. This can do this absolutely in real time. So that's a look at the first thing, making these beautiful harmonic multi-buffer reverb sounds that Tails does that's so unique. Okay, so let's take another look at this multi-buffer reverb functionality, but with a vocal. So this is a piece of music and I will solo the vocal and we'll play around with it. So I have this very nice dry vocal sound here. Let's solo this. You and, me. and first, like the example with electric piano, let's do this in a normal reverb mode where we're not 
tracking the attack transients and it just allows everything to mush together in a very long reverb. This time the Renown flavor, which is a beautiful, beautiful reverb on its own without this functionality. But let's listen to it like a normal reverb where we're not tracking the attack transients and swapping out reverb buffers and all this fancy stuff that this does uh, that is native to this plugin that other reverbs don't do. So we're just gonna let it all mush together with a very long reverb here. So we have all the notes blurring into one another, what we would expect by having a really long reverb on a vocal um, without this reverb swap functionality. So I'm gonna turn this on now and you'll immediately hear the difference. That's a completely different sort of sound. Um, and uh, right here, you'll notice too, something really cool, which is the ability to track sources that are more musical or more rhythmic focused for drums and a re-trigger amount. So you can make it so that it will only re-trigger the reverb buffer rhythmically. So, uh, you know, you might find that you only want it to do it every bar. There's actually a really cool patch here I noticed. Uh, in creative that's a one bar trigger that makes for a really cool sound. It's called a one bar swell. So check this out, what this sounds like. And this is re-triggering on attack transients, actually every bar. So allowing it to happen every bar. Yeah. So you hear when we let it ring out, it's gonna ring out to the fullest extent, still going actually. So that's uh, demonstrating this um, on a vocal and how it allows different vocal notes to speak out with their own unique reverb. So let's have a look at tails, specifically as it relates to drums. One of the things that I frequently wanna do with drums is once I get to the stem phase of a piece of music, in this case, 1 a.m. in Paris from The Lost Art of Longing, I'd like to add some ambient drum room sound. However, especially in electronic music production like this one, adding any kind of drum sound is gonna add a sort of blurry smeariness to the overall drum composition that's not gonna translate well on a huge you know, festival sound system. So this piece of music, One Aim in Paris, you can hear from the stems right here. Here's the piece. So it's this very tight sounding uh, electronic sort of production, right? So let's solve the drums here and have a listen to just our drum sound. Okay, now if I mute my kick and I'm just working with my overheads, this is this very sort of tight drum sound. Now, a, a composite, right, of you know shakers, claps, hi-hats, and other things, top drum sounds that have been saturated, EQ'd, and compressed, so on and so forth. Many of you watching this will be highly familiar with being at this stage of, of mixing a record. So I'd love to add some overall ambience to these drums. However, I do this, now this is me emulating a normal reverb, okay? If I do this, we're gonna get a sound kind of like this. Right? which is just a mess. You would never want something like that in a piece of house music or other types of modern electronic productions. 
So what if I was able to take and use this reverb swap thing and actually tonally clean out some of the periodic signal and just leave noise or just clean out some of the noise and leave the periodic signal from the drums and further do all of that ryth rhythmically. So something that's really important here to take note of is this retrigger knob. I mentioned it in the last bit. This retrigger knob allows your buffer to refresh at rhythmic intervals, which is very, very important because you might not want something to just retrigger whenever. You might want it to only happen on beat. In this case, it's 16th notes, which is the dominant sort of rhythmic figure in, the, in this uh, drum overhead. So let's listen to this. And again, uh, it's gonna be messy. And in the middle of it, I'm gonna turn the reverb swap on and you'll see what I mean, so. Immediately, we have gated claps. That's wet. Here's dry. Okay. Wet without the reverb swap. With the reverb swap. And you can hear that the, we, we get a gated clap figure composited through this entire drum stem. So um, imagine that just on individual drums as well. Let's do another one of the cool tricks that Tails can do now that I mentioned uh, in the very beginning, which is side chaining to its original signal. So let's go back to this and... All right. So now we have this really nice gated sound and you, you can make this huge, as big as a, of a reverb as you could possibly want can play around with the sound itself and even the sample rate thing is a kind of force of nature is definitely something you guys should play around with okay so let's take and turn on the ducking feature here okay and have a listen to what happens i'm going to just go to a solo clap i think around here Okay, so currently I have this off. Look. So that's the reverb signal without this pre, this pre-ducking. Okay. Now, here's the same thing with side chaining to itself. See here, it speaks out in between the claps and then we bounce it with our wet dry. So I'm able to actually change the timbre of the reverb, specifically the noise to harmonic ratio and to introduce this kind of gating sort of thing. And you can hear this on the overall drum overheads here. Here's without the ducking. Here's with. We're able to effectively control the reverb send on a complex drum composite in a way that is really specific and unique. So this showcases two of the unique features about Tails, which are the ability to change the periodicity and a periodicity of the reverb signal and side chain, as well as do it all rhythmically. All right, guys, so that's some of the very specific and unique features of Tails, my plugin with Unfiltered Audio and Plugin Alliance. I hope you really enjoy that and download the demo, check it out. I can't wait to hear this in your records. This really is a unique and specific, special new type of reverb. Enjoy.